We got one miss today. Let's get better and go get that ring, right? Let's go. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Welcome to the Raiders Training Camp Special, presented by Allegiant. I am Brian Salmon. This is episode number three, and I am here with my guy, EA, the <laughs> Green-Eyed Bandit, the 14-year vet, the six-time Pro come Bowler. Come on now, come on now. Ah, my man, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, and those are great highlights because that's what it was all about, trying to get those great reps against uh, some of the first-teamers of the Rams. That's some of the best work you can get outside of regular season. Yeah. Because a lot of these guys are not playing in the preseason game. No, you're, you're right. And folks at home, if you're watching this, you don't get to see EA while that video is playing. He, he's getting <laughs> you, you can feel that, don't you? You, you can. You, you can <laughs> understand, like, the battles, the leverage, things like that that are going on with some of those first teamers. Because, again, that's the best work some of these guys are going to get. Because, again, you're talking about being able to go up against the ones or the Rams multiple times, and then you break it down on the film room and figure out, hey, man, I need to have a better leverage step here, or I need to straight arm this guy. So just an incredible opportunity for these young guys, particularly the Raiders, because they were a young team, to get work against a veteran team like the Rams out there in Thousand Oaks. It's a ways away now. <laughs> I drove from San Diego. It was a ways away, B. I was, I was <laughs> driving forever. Traffic was terrible. Yeah. Once I got there, I had a really great time, oh, particularly wow. seeing guys like Darren Waller. Yes. After, day, after day one, He's everybody back. was afraid of Darren Waller. He was uncoverable. Yeah. He was taking everybody. Yeah. And, uh, and again, just a great chance for these young players to really see how it's done, you know, how Aaron Donald gets it done, how yes. Jalen Ramsey gets it yes. done. So things you can learn and pull and put into your game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you had that back in your day. You yes. had a chance to yeah. be with, with the Atlanta Falcons. And yeah, with the Atlanta with Falcons. At one time we did it with the uh, Cow Dallas Cowboys. Okay, there you I was go. with the Raiders, and it was a great chance to bring a young Charles Woodson, take him across the field to meet primetime, oh. Deion Sanders, right? So you have an idea of what primetime is all about, but here's our young rookie with the Raiders. You bring him across, and we're just talking ball. Yeah. We're talking coverage. We're talking practice tempo. We're talking dominating in practice, and then you have that confidence to go and dominate in the game. So, again, it's a great opportunity for us veterans to kind of pass along some stories to the young guys. Of course, of so course. So you can uh, really get a feel of what it's like to be in this league. I got you. Get yeah. some of that prime to rub off on you. That's right. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> and it did, too. Yeah, absolutely. He's wearing a gold jacket like prime. Yeah. <laughs> you should be there. You should be there. Uh, hopefully how, so. How about the actual game? Okay, I would say that the Raiders, they won the two practice days, in my yes. opinion. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I agree. I yeah. agree. Wednesday, without a doubt. Yeah. Thursday was up and down, but yeah. Okay. Most part. But then you want to go to the game. You want to win that as well. And yes. the guy who definitely was the player of the game, in my opinion. Come on, Nate, say his name. Nate Hobbs, put, baby. Come put on. Some, let's put some respect on Nate Hobbs. Put name. it on his name. Listen, with a K. The versatility that we've seen from this young man on the first two games. Played nickel, started at nickel, and made some tremendous plays there, and then went to the outside, had the great pick. And then again, the game was a little sloppy. I think yeah. When you're talking about inner squad scrimmages, your legs, your energy is kind of out there on the practice field, so it wasn't as clean as uh, the game last week against the Seattle Seahawks. But again, we're talking about this football team, there's things you can see that are when the first team guys are there that are going to be an asset. And this is one of them here. Yeah, the, like, again, the versatility, that was from the outside. Yeah. Ran up, made an outstanding play. And here, being able to get young guys playing time so you can evaluate them. This is an evaluation period absolutely, absolutely. for this football team. Here we get the big block to save the field goal. Yeah. Again, all Let's these things. Yeah, all these things are things you need to see the coaches 
need to see these things. Absolutely, and absolutely. Malcolm Kuntz made a big play out there, and then uh, Trey Vegas. Yes, he was out there doing his Again, thing. Again, doing his <laughs> thing. So he's adding it to you know his his great film. These are all auditions. Yeah. And if you're not auditioning for the Raiders, maybe because you know, the rule is that this tape is out there. Yeah. So maybe Peterman, for example, yes. you know, yes. continuing to play at a very high level. No, he had two interceptions, but two of those interceptions, one tip and that back shoulder fade should have been caught. And then in the end, great job bouncing back for our safety. Yes. Levis, who gave him a big play. But again, you see the players, okay, addressing him, saying, hey, this is how you bounce back from a bad play. You come back, make an outstanding play, end up winning the game for our Raiders. Ah, that was beautiful to see. It beautiful was. Beautiful to see. Yeah. I mean, yeah. as you said, Peterman, he had a, he had a pretty good game. Yes, he did. Like he, Great drive in the end, the double move to get the touchdown. Of course. We saw a lot of uh, Tanner Muse, yes. you know, after yes. the injuries. And yes. that's the one thing, you know, it, it, right now, because there's only three preseason games, I think coaches are faced with, should we play our good players or should we not? This is one reason why a lot of coaches decide not to play the players because of the injury bug. I got you. I got you. You well, you're not injured. You did very well in that All first right, spot. Yeah, there didn't pull any Coming any good. hamstrings or anything like that. Any <laughs> neck muscles. <laughs> when we come back, we will get into the positional spotlight where you will shine and talk about. Uh oh, the big the biggins Hold up on. front. The biggins. <laughs> Raiders training camp special is brought to you by Sirius XM delivers 24-7 NFL news, talk, and expert opinion. Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now, only at Allegiant.com. The talent we have the room is crazy, so it's really like keep me on my toes, uh, help me learn new things. You know, I can see how maybe how Josh do it or how Drake do it or really Alex or BJ, anybody really. So really give me a chance to like actually view everything and see how each one of us are different and how we could take something from each other and put it into our game. Ah, uh, Trey Vegas, a.k.a. Trey Vegas now, the way that he's played in this preseason. You definitely have to check him out on the Raiders Podcast Network, of course. Eddie Pascal and Jesse Merrick, they do a great job with that. Download that on Spotify or anywhere that you get your podcast. Definitely a very, very good catalog. Now, how about this? It's time now for our positional spotlight. Our very own Yoda. EA has done a magnificent job with the DBs, the defensive linemen. But now, EA, we are putting your skills to the test. Man. The offensive linemen. The all right. The positional spotlight this week, B, <laughs> is offensive linemen. The foundation of the Raiders football team and John Gruden's West Coast offense. The premier position at this spotlight here is tackle, oh. left tackle. Let's get right to it. Our main man, Colton Miller. Man, the measurables here off the chart, 6'8", 300 and something pounds here. Great job here getting to the second level. Very important for arms of tackle to be able to engage and get to the second level, allow J.J. to be able to get to the end zone. That's Again, nice. showing you his great run blocking skills on the zone read. Now, we see here lined up on the left, has a little tight end help right here with our guy. Here, but Colton Miller, look at the great pace the great footwork, the athleticism to be able to start and get that great first step right and can come back left. And let's get a pass set here from Colton Miller. Vertical step. You love the patience, right? Yeah. He engages. The guy has outstanding ability to be able to get the defensive lineman around the corner, not letting him to get to uh, Derek Carr. So Colton Miller, our number one offensive tackle, outstanding job, athleticism. And now lined up next to Denzel Good, Ooh. he gets out. After we're talking about a grinder here, here's what we're talking about with guard guard. But look at that grinding, getting to him, get his hands on him, and then move him like a road grader. So Denzel <laughs> Good, you love that guard, big physical, 6'5, over 340 pounds of Ooh. mean spirited man. Now, versatility, he's playing tackle against Cameron Jordan, one of the best Damn. defensive linemen in the league. Look at this again, grinding. Look at that. I'm gonna get my hands on him, I'm gonna get physical with him. Once again, good freight work, good base, not gonna line to get get there, then back at guard again on the left side. And look at this, another opportunity to get mean, to get nasty. And look at that, I want to just drive me to the dirt. But good 
a visual perspective here of a guard being able to switch and then at the end really get nasty with him. So again, he has that great uh, base, but overall, you like a nasty guard. Denzel Good puts Ooh, it in. Let's yikes. talk about the young fella, Alex Leatherwood. A com <laughs> combination of both nasty and athleticism. Look at that. We're going to push the pile. We're going to get nasty, put our helmet in there, finish off young man against the Rams last night. So again, Ooh. the nastiness part. You want to see him get down, grind, grind it through there, allow the Raiders, again, to focus on that great running game. But here's what we like. We like the athleticism of the young man from Alabama. Look at that. The great footwork, the athleticism there. Once again, look at the kick step. Woo! The vertical <laughs> set, the long arms. It's all there for our man Alex Leatherwood be. So positional spotlight this week on the arms of line. And we can get excited about the arms of line because that's what we do here on positional spotlight on our training camp special. Positional spotlight. Yep. <laughs> there we go. How about this, E? These are the projected starters on the old line. You got Colton Miller. How about Richie Incognito? 14 yes. year vet. You talk about nasty. Richie Incognito <laughs> will get you in there. He's gonna grab, he's gonna headbutt you a little bit, take you, <laughs> take you out to the kitchen, throw you out the back door. Okay. I love the fact that Andre James is really playing well at yes. the center position. Didn't see a lot of him last night, obviously. And we have Leatherwood there. And again, those guys, Denzel Good, all those guys, I think, have the potential to be a very strong arms of line. Tom Cable again, we continue to mention. Coach Cable, one of the best in the league. He's going to get this line playing at an all-star level. Again, this arms of line is the foundation yes. of this arms of football team because everything is based off of the play action and the quick timing. So again, these guys are going to be key to the success of the Raiders. Yes, for, we want to run the ball. Yes. We want to run the ball. Yeah. We got to get Josh. Gotta you have to be dominant. You know what? I wonder about this. As an offensive lineman, having a guy like Richie Incognito, you say he's nasty and everything else, yeah. but when you talk to him, he's the most calm yeah. guy. One of those uh, switch flippers. Oh, I got so you. So off the field, you. hey, how you doing, sir? Nice to meet yeah. you. Thank you. On the field, totally different guy. Right? <laughs> the kind of guy you don't want to see in a dark alley is Richie Incognito <laughs> or Denzel Good. Those guards, I mean, they're strong, they're physical. One Man. of the things that separate the Raiders' arms of line is the measurables. The yes. tackles need to be really big with long arms. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and head to a break. When we come back, we're going to try to get mic'd up. Mm -hmm. I love the mic'd up segment. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me we too. have a couple of guys. One of them spells his name exactly the way that he should spell it. Okay. And the other one's a madman. <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah, if you watch it carefully, he played nickel to start the game and did excellent there. And then um, we moved him outside. We have some corners hurt. Damon Arnett couldn't go tonight. Uh, Keyshawn Nixon went, went out early. So he went outside and played very well and made some impact plays. And I don't usually give out game balls for preseason victories, but Nate Hobbs got one tonight. Well-deserved. All right, welcome back to the Raiders training camp special presented by Allegiant BSEA. Mm -hmm. And that man that he's talking about, Nate Hobbs, after the game, he talked about how he's earned the trust of the coaches, and you can absolutely see he's earned the trust and respect of his you, teammates. Uh, without a doubt, game ball for preseason game <laughs> for young guy, fifth-round draft Second choice. Game. He continues to make play after play, plays inside, plays outside, so you got versatility, got great size, and the interception, you had great makeup speed. And that's the one thing that is critical in this evaluation period from a guy from college. You want to know speed-wise is he's going to be able to compensate for getting beat. You see that closing speed? Yeah. And then he goes up and locates the ball? Yeah. So that game ball from John Gruden to him basically said, you made the team. What a great feeling for a young man, man out of Illinois. Had a lot of playing time at Illinois. Played four years, I think. Yeah. Started three. But that's basically what that was last year. Yeah. You don't have to wait until final cut down day. You've made this football team. What a great chance for this young man to continue blossoming 
and be a great asset for the Raiders. What's that emotion like as a person? Uh, You're that guy. You, you make the phone call home to whoever helped you get to that point, mom, dad, coaches. Hey, you see me last night? Man, I got the game ball. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay, fam. We made it, baby. We made it. Book, book your tickets. Come out to Vegas. <laughs> Let's find my place to stay. Oh, all right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check out the mic'd up segment now. This week, we have Mad Max with two X's. <laughs> and Brian Edwards, he spells that baby with a Y. He's got the power of Brian. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm mic'd up. I'm mic'd up. I'm mic'd up. I'm mic'd up. What's up? Brr, brr. I feel good, man. Time to go now. Oh, I'm ready to go. You can have fun. Woo! Watch it. Still got it. Party in the backfield. It's a party in the backfield. Don't be late to the party. Already RSVP. Mike check one two one two. Yeah. One day something this morning. I told you guys, man, I was trying to get my mind right. What you mean? I lived ten years in Michigan. Completely different cultures. You can. It is. Are you more of a Michigan man or Texas? How am I not from both when I lived my first ten years in Michigan? Then I went to all middle school and high school in Texas, and then I moved back to Michigan for college. That's both. That's bro. If you're spending over five years in somewhere, you're from there. I really don't know how to answer that question. I said I'm, I got Texas and Michigan roots. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I didn't know I had. You didn't know what? Hold on. Well, I was just sitting out a group. I was trying to let you. I didn't know I had to sit out a group chat. No, you had it. No, you had it. I, I tried to let people know. You gotta stay away. Look, look, look. Gotcha. I'm wired for sound. You didn't tell nobody. You should have said that earlier, though. I told a couple people. A couple people? Come on. Hey, I'm in the same room as you. I was going to let, when we came up as a group, I was going to let everybody know. Evaluate our standards. Yes, sir. We have a standard how we're going to play today. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Be smart. No offsides today. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay? Let's go. Let's get him. Talk to him, man. All right, come on, man. Have a day. Fly around. Have fun. Let's go. Gang on me. Gang on three. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! I got him. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I was a. DA, no. you're the judge. No. Yeah, exactly. 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 Plead the fifth. Hey, it's all about being physical today. Oh, yeah. That's it. Effort and physicality. That's all we got to bring, bro. Yes, hey, they don't, hey, they got to match us all day, bro. They got to match us, hey, yes, sir. Hey, win on three. One, two, three. Win. Let's get it. Can't block. Too little. All right, let's go. We got to pick it up. Pick it up. We need better energy. Big body, solid. Hey, where our time's coming to. Oh, yeah. Right. Come on, man. You already know the deal. Thank you. Thank you, Adam B. He was in trouble. He was in trouble. He was in trouble. Oh. They better send two. They gotta send two. Oh, oh got him, got him, got him. That is beautiful. I need to stop sending the tight ends at me. It's just a little flower in the middle of the street. Slap it out the way. Hey, hey, nine seven. Hey. 9-7, you ain't big. At right, 44, come over here with that energy. You're away, Jan. Yeah. You're burning. Get there. GG. A like, guy like him, he's so long, he's going to try to get his hands on you. You know what I mean? So make that angle hard for him. Make him come to you.
Oh, you have to like that. Yes. We got the Texican, yes. the Texas Michigan man, <laughs> and, and, and then Brian, man. I love. They thought he was a feds out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's that. Uh, that's great insight that we can hear. You know, you gotta warn. You know, your 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 group of guys that yeah. you're mic'd up. But again, just great stuff. Knowing what these guys go through in practice, it's not all. You know, sometimes you can be light, loosen it up a little bit. But you really love the competition. You yes. love what kind of, what they're trying to accomplish in practice, you know they're working on their craft every single day, and Max is just gr such a great character, such a great oh. player. I expect him to be in the Pro Bowl in the next couple years. I mean, he's just a phenomenal uh, competitor, yes. really loves playing football, even though he doesn't know where he's from, Michigan. <laughs> you can tell, and do not send a tight end to block him. No, please don't. Too small. Too small. Yeah, too small, too small. All right, we're going to go ahead and head to a break. We're coming back with the four downs. We're not giving up any first downs, are we, E? That's right, that's right. Honey unit needs to be on the <laughs> That's right, that's right. This segment of Raiders Training Camp Special has been brought to you by Sirius XM. Delivers 24-7 NFL news, talk, and expert opinion. Raiders Training Camp Special has been brought to you by Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now, only at Allegiant.com. EA, man, we got the thumbs up from Yanni. That's right, man. <laughs> he's, been a, he's been a great asset on and off the field. There I mean, you go. He speaks high. He was controlling his business at the, at the uh, Rams practices, too. All right, let's go four downs, baby. Right, you ready to make down. this happen? Let's go. All right, first down, what did we learn from the game against the Rams? OK, it's about winning. Yeah. Overall, right? It's about winning, and they were able to hang through and win the game. Yeah. No matter what, nasty, ugly, or whatever. But you love the perseverance that this team showed to get it done and get the dub. There we go. All right. Second down. Who has been the most impressive offensive player? Andre James. Okay. Center right. right now. Right. So much, so much excitement about Andre James. Really, he's the one. Third down, most impressive defensive Hobbs, player. Hobbs, let's go. Okay, Hobbs, we all know Hobbs. <laughs> and lastly, what can guys expect that are on the bubble for the last preseason game? Got to show out, make some plays so you can make the team. Only 53-man roster. Got to get it going. There you go. There you go. You got it going. My man, EA, the Green-Eyed Bandit. Bam. Ah, Brian Salmon, thank you for joining us for number three. We'll be back with number four next week. Raider Nation.